Welcome to I Love Stocks. We're going to be talking today about CEI. This was our play of the day. And I'm going to pull that up right now. She had a an idea we called the idea in the room at 279. She had a high of 947. It's in the energy sector with over 53.5 million in volume called out by Vegas and also a few other team players in the room rich stock authority called this out on friday about the alert that this was going to be a reverse split of 1 to 25 which made a float of about 1.8 million the time called out was about 7 11 a.m this morning pre-market and from the call to the end of the day she ran 239 cent nine percent so we're going to go ahead and pull this on back but there's the chart of it from the entry to the exit this was an easy call today the volume was just so beautiful on it uh, 54 million it didn't want to pull back much and when it did it was easy to find it did run up on the 9 EMA most of the day right here we went above the 9 then she pulled back knife pretty good disrespected that nine a little bit but also run into the 34 EMA which called it I called out a solid buy take them bounces up and she ran up to about 457 then she pulled back again to that 34 then we had another knife she came close minute then she lost respect for that nine EMA as it went below that 34 did not quite get to the 200 would have been a real strong buy but it started to level out and consolidate and I'm going to draw a trend line right here where that consolidation occurred. And that was right around the 356 area. You had a couple, and in, in the, in the, what I liked about this trade today, it'd take about eight, nine minutes, ten minutes, and it'd bounce. Pull back a couple more, three or four minutes. You could call these flags that were happening in the room. And we called a bunch of them, a bunch of flags. And then finally, at the end of the day, we had that crossover of that, that nine over that 34. And then she started respecting that nine again and ran all the way up and hit a high. And um, so let's go ahead and pull this up a little bit more here. You can see from that moment on, it collected and supported off that 34 EMA and also respected that nine in the same way. And every time that nine would squeeze down and touch that 34, would get another bounce. I've been talking about these three moving averages in the room, the nine, the 34 and the 200 how I play them so at the end of the day we could tell that there were some big blocks coming in this trade and it just ran all the way up above that 9 broke out from that 34 and hit a 9 of a uh, high of 947 and then I was suggesting for people to take their money because it's surely going to pull back after a 268 percent run so she did close here at 748 and now we're hovering here at 646 the 9 did cross down over the 34 and hit that 200 again right here after hours so I'm going to be watching this trade in the morning and I'm going to draw a couple support levels where I think it could pull back to one's going to be here right at around the 537 we got another one right down here at the previous high we had in the daytime here at open and that was right around the 495 area then I'm going to look for another consolidated area, if I can find one, which is probably right around in here at the 436. And then we got another one right down here at the 396 area. I don't want to see it go no lower than maybe probably this 495. We're going to see if we can get a dead cat bounce in the morning on it. First support is going to be right here around 586. And I'm going to be watching these three moving averages tomorrow morning. When, when the market opens. We do have a descending pattern right now, but she respected that 200. So let's see if we can get a little pullback on this. I've got the supports here. You can stop this video at any time and write these down. These are targeted areas where I think it can pull back to. The first one's gonna be right here around 586. And we're gonna draw another one right here just to see, call it for a resistance tomorrow at 631. And that's right where that 200 is right now. So I want to see this respectably run up on that 9 again. If it starts to respect that 9 or I get a crossover from the 9 over the 200 or the 34, I'm going to be back in this trade. 
but after today you cannot help but wait to see what happens in the morning. This is CEI. This was our trade of the day. And congratulations to Miss Vegas, me, uh, uh, Stock Authority, Rich for calling this out in the room, Abby. We kept a good eye on this all day long. We called the pullbacks, I called the entries. It flagged many a times. This is one trade that you just can't let go. And trades like this don't happen all the time. It's been kind of a slump on runners like this. But this is a reverse stock split run. Lowered the float. So it got everybody interested. And I appreciate the short staying out of it this time. And letting us bulls have a piece of the pie. And you can follow us sometime too, shorters. So this is I Love Stocks also. I'm going to pull up the website. We've got a Twitter page here. If you want to follow us on Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter. Hit that follow button. We also have we also have stock twits. You can hit and follow this button on stock twits. Follow Miss Vegas. You can also follow me here on stock twits. Just hit this little link when you go to our website. It'll be posted below, and you can hit that follow button on a on my little thing too, on my stock twits. So we wish you all a great day. Keep an eye on CEI and there's a lot of uh, shipper stocks that were hot today. Keep an eye on all them. I think we're going to see a continuation. That's Dries, uh, GLBS, Tops. Just keep a good eye on them trades too. I love stocks and we love stocks. And I am out. Thank you.